In the history of Smash Bros, there have been some pretty interesting reveals, but some of them have been hyped to the point where they literally broke the internet. With everything going on in the Smash community over the past few months, I think it'll be good to relive some of the great moments that we shared in Smash. But just a disclaimer, this is purely my opinion because, you know, YouTube comment section and um, some of these trolls have found their way to my channel since I hit a thousand. So, here are the top 10 Smash Bros. reveals from 64 all the way to Ultimate. Strap in! Plant Gang Rise Up. I don't care what you say. Piranha Plant getting revealed in Smash was probably one of the funniest and hypest things ever simply because Sakurai took a mother freaking plant. A plant, bro! and said, oh, I'm gonna stick this into the game. And, and oh, this thing's gonna be a little obnoxious to fight against. And oh, y'all want Gino? No, I'm gonna put in Plant. Plant Gang rise up, baby. The plant is always hype. Plant Gang. <laughs> Gaming companies have their feuds, but no feud is more notable than Nintendo versus Sega. Most notably, Mario vs. Sonic. So imagine the feeling back in the brawl days when Sonic bed past Mario in the trailers. And now imagine the feeling when you're playing online and you hear this. I think I made a few Wi-Fi warriors throw their switch and a few people click off the video because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Sonic Online. But hear me out here. When Sonic came out, it was around the time where Sega games finally were being available on Nintendo consoles. So seeing Sonic before these rage-inducing toxic online strategies was a big deal because during that time, no one honestly thought Sonic would ever be in a Smash game. When Mega Man came to Smash, the Mega Man series was going through some pretty weird times. I think it was during the anniversary year and nobody knew what was going to be the future of the game series. So when Mega Man appeared on the mountain cliff during his reveal in Smash 4, this was a pretty huge moment. People wanted Mega Man in the game, but a lot of people didn't think he'd actually get in. Heck, even in his reveal trailer, you didn't even have any real clues about him getting in until you really saw his silhouette in the moonlight. Okay, hear me out. Isabel may not be hyped to you, but you cannot tell me that you did not feel some sense of hype when Isabel leaned back and said, they want me in Smash. I don't even play Animal Crossing and I was hyped for this character. While the character didn't turn out to be that hype in terms of gameplay, there were a lot of people from casual to top players that were nothing but hype about Isabelle's reveal in Smash Ultimate. Heck, I still think it's still a big deal with her being in, even if she does have this toxic fishing rod thing. When we think of third party reps in Smash, we can come up with a long list of characters. Probably not as long as the Fire Emblem characters in this game because, well, yeah. But think back to the times of Brawl, when there were only Nintendo characters in Smash, and Snake and his ass sets were revealed to be part of the next Smash roster. Even now, when we saw everyone is here with the reveal of Smash Ultimate, who did they use in that part of this trailer? Snake! And you cannot tell me you didn't pop off when you saw that, it was hype! Oh boy, this is a big one. Fans of Smash have been wanting really in the game since we literally saw Samus fighting Ridley in the melee opening. And even in this opening, Ridley looks like she can be a playable character. She, he, I don't know. I don't know Ridley's gender. Ridley didn't look too big then. And I don't care how Brawl made Ridley look in subspace. Seeing Ridley be revealed completely negated the fact that Mario got killed in the freaking reveal trailer. Welcome home, you big purple girl boy dragon. Probably gonna get a lot of hate for this one, but Minecraft Steve was a character that a lot of people wanted in the game. And a character that a lot of people didn't want in the game. There were a lot of mixed reviews about Steve being put into the game, but Steve was a hype reveal because, well, Minecraft. Hear me out here. Smash is one of the biggest fighting game franchises, taking characters from all of these different games and putting them together to fight. And Minecraft is one of the biggest game franchises out 
right now. This was great for Smash, and while some people can't help but to be overly critical about this release, Steve did shut down Twitter for a few hours after the reveal trailer. So, Minecraft. <laughs> Okay, look, this reveal is one of my favorites. King K. Rule's reveal was hype. There's nothing more I can really say about it. Everyone wanted King K. Rule in this game, and nobody thought that King K. Rule would ever actually make it. I mean, we start with this beginning with Donkey Kong and Diddy watching TV with all the other villains, and it's kind of setting up for it, but you're not really sure because they've been playing us for years. And then you hear this loud boom outside, and as Diddy and Donkey Kong rush to, to the window, we get freaking trolled by Nintendo again because they hate me. And then from the shadows, the gold belly MVP gets revealed, and I got more noise complaints that day than the number of Fire Emblem characters on the roster. Yes, I'm still salty about this. The time was Smash 4. Ryu and all the DLC characters that weren't really DLC because they could have just put them on the original roster because they were in past games were released. And then we got the biggest bomb dropped on us. Chill the fuck out, Sakurai! Oh my god! No fing way! No way! Oh, wow. You can't be serious! Oh, yes, this is Smash Brothers! What? Oh no! Holy shit! Oh! Motherfucking Cloud Strife from Final Fucking Fantasy. I remember when I first saw Cloud get revealed, and I just couldn't believe that a character from a JRPG franchise had been introduced into Smash. I mean, yeah, we had Ryu and Snake from Brawl, but hear me out. Cloud Strife. Heck, even now, Cloud is still a hype character, and even if he isn't the same broken character from Smash 4, I still can't believe that we got a square rip in Smash. Can we get one more, please? Sakurai? Smash Ultimate was at its all-time high for hype. We had received the crazy amount of reveals and videos being put out around the game, and then at the Game Awards, we got this. This is Joker. I've infiltrated the theater. Wait, seriously? He went alone to the Game Awards? But it's so far away. Why is he there? There's only one thing the Phantom Thieves of Hearts specialize in. He's there to steal a treasure. Have you already sent a calling card? We're not the ones sending a card this time. In fact, we've been invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. What? Even if you never played Persona 5, just the way this character looked in his reveal gave so much promise and speculation. Heck, even us having to wait that long didn't even die down the hype. It actually increased it because we wanted Joker. Joker looks like a fun character. He looks like a hype character. Heck, to this day, he is still one of the best characters in the game. I did not say he was the best. I said he was one of the best. Do not get in my YouTube comment section with that. And to this day, people still pick up Joker simply because the best player in Smash, MKLeo, plays him as his main. We've had a lot of pretty hype and lame Smash reveals, but through all of the reveals, it has been pretty great speculating and cheering for characters that you want to be included in the game. Now it feels like there's no limit as to who can be included in the game. If you like this style of video, comment below on what other kinds of top 10s you'd want to see or what characters you want to see in Smash, period. If you're new to my channel, the hypest thing you can do right now is hit that subscribe button and check out some of the other content on my channel. I've been really trying to step more into the type of videos I want to do on my channel and it would be great if I could get some more support on those because I put a lot of work into those for you guys' entertainment. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, whenever I drop another video, Swiggy out.